story. A Pueblo man had to be a lot had a lot to be thankful for today after a very special program granted him a trip to wherever he wanted to go. But it turns out they didn't have to go very far to grant him his dying wish. News 5's Laura Wilson joins us in our Pueblo studio with this touching story tonight. Laura. Yeah, and imagine your happy place here in Colorado. For a lot of us, it's somewhere in the mountains, out on the Arkansas River, maybe even Sports Authority Field. But for this remarkable man, there was nowhere he'd rather be than the place he spent decades working at. Thank you. Ted Longwitz didn't have far to go today to be transported back to the good old days. Hey, Keep Dan, your I'm feet going and I'll car. go at your pace, okay? As part of the Sentimental Journey program, hospice patients are granted round-trip transportation to a special place of their choosing. And Ted's dying wish... Ready to go in? ...was to return to the National Weather Service, where he worked as a longtime meteorologist. If you love what you're doing, you never leave that job. You always told me you were there when they issued the first tornado warning in Oklahoma, right? I remember that. I think Ted probably is a local legend, you know, in the, in the weather community. The weather station was always more than just a job to Ted. It was home. I grew up here. Although this home looks a lot different since he retired in the 1980s. Things have come a long way. Before it was a balloon. It was a barometer. It was writing stuff on a clipboard. You know, and that was their website, a clipboard. The thunderstorm tops were, oh my goodness. 40 years and a lot of technology later, he's still able to remember pieces of his past. I've seen 122,000. Only 122, huh? We jogged a few of his memories, I think, today, just through the times that we had together and the, all the stories that he told us. You had a good day. And perhaps his favorite memory will be the one made today. I will keep this in my memory for many months, many years to come. That'll probably be with him until he's no longer with us in the physical world. But then he'll be up there given the weather, so. <laughs> And we want to give a big thank you to Ted's family for sharing these wonderful moments with us today. Now, if you're interested in hearing more about Sentimental Journey, the program that made this all possible, head over to our website, koaa.com. Watching out for you in Pueblo, Laura Wilson, News 5.